Hey guys, it's Miss You Beauty back again. I am back with uh, a few items that I got from TJ Maxx, but the star of the show today is going to be a BH Cosmetics palette. And this BH Cosmetics palette, it's called It's My... I, I really don't know what that is supposed to say. Looks like there's some words backwards. Let's see. BH Cosmetics, It's My... I have no idea. But that is the name of the palette. There's 21 color eyeshadow... Oh, I'm sorry, 21 color eyeshadow, highlighter, and contour items within this palette. Uh, let's go ahead. These are the color shades on the back. I picked this up for, was it $7 or $8.99? $7.99. So this was $79.99, $7.99 at TJ Maxx. I was there to return something, originally return something. This was not swatched that I can tell. So I ended up in the makeup um, counter area or the makeup area in TJ Maxx and saw this. So it didn't look like any of the items were swatched to me. And BH Cosmetics, uh, I hear some good things about BH Cosmetics. So I decided to give it a try. It does come with a mirror. The top portion is your eyeshadows. Looks like you have one, two, three mattes, is it? I'm looking at these right here as being matte. Um... The rest doesn't it doesn't look like shimmer. These are really glittery right here. Let's get a little closer. Look at the names of them. I love the colors. Pancake. So I like these colors. I don't know about the formula. Guys, I'm not good at swatching. Um, let's see if I, if I show you on this arm, I'm going to have to go here. So let me keep that in mind. Let me go ahead. I'm going to swatch as many as I can, but let's lift the film up for the highlighter and contour area of this palette. So you got Moonlight, Radiant, French Toast, Chai, Mocha, and Brownie Bite. So between Mocha and Brownie Bite, I would use this contour. And of course, these are highlighters up here. And so it's kind of neat because it opens up into this three section area. Three areas, three sections. The top part being the mirror. And I really like the layout of it. So I am going to try to swatch a couple of the eyeshadow shades. I'm going to start with the end of the first row. I'm sorry, guys. All right, so let's see if I can get this looking like anything at all. Okay, this first shade right here. Uh, la la la. That one is called Control Freak. The blue one is called Black Beauty. The blue one is called Black Beauty. 
<laughs> the black one is called Black Beauty. It looks blue, though. Uh, and the last one here is called Spice. Um, I'm going to have to go wash my... Well, I guess I could do a few more on this side. One second. We're trying to... I'm just horrible at swatching, guys. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Okay. So, for this hand... Do, 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 do. And then... So this is what I've got for the second row. Not sure if you guys can see that. Let me try to put a little bit more color in this brown shade here. So that, that seems like it's most of the mats there. So I'm going to go wash my hands up and then swatch the um, shimmers on the bottom row. And I will be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Um, I kind of did them under where I shouldn't have because I wasn't looking correctly. But here are the bottom shade. That white shade's kind of chalky. A little bit chalky. I have no reason to use it today for the look today. But that's what they look like. And I am going to go ahead and prime my lids. We're going to go ahead and do the eyes first and then I'll do the rest of my face first. So without further ado, let me go ahead and try on some of these colors. Hey guys, let me just let you know, I am priming my lids with the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer. This was in with an Urban Decay order uh, I uh, a couple of months ago ordered. And it came with the actual uh, samples. Well, I was able to pick which samples I wanted. And it does leave the eyelid quite tacky here. Uh, so you do have to rub it uh, and coat your eye lid pretty quickly. So it is, it has gotten rather tacky or sticky. Um, I've got some on my eyelashes. But yeah, uh, this will prime the eyelids. It will make it a little rough. So it gives the eyeshadow something to stick with. Also, you guys, just FYI, I did clean my brushes. Uh, I will insert or show you here where they're at in the process. And so, yes, I use, just so you guys know, to wash the um, brushes. I did use, in combination with some Real Techniques um, soap that they gave me with brushes. I used that until it was gone. It came in a little packet. And then after that, I began to use the baby wash, just regular baby wash. Uh, along with the brush cleaner pad that I do use. Let me go get that for you guys. So yeah, here is the, it's from BC Cosmetics, uh, not to be confused with BH Cosmetics, which is where the, um, I'm going to have to clean that up, which is where the palette, um, the, the face palette came from. But this is BC Cosmetics. Uh, what you do is you basically basically stick four fingers in here, hold it like this, pour a little bit of the soap onto the area, and wet the area, wet your brush, and then make suds. 
on this padded area and you could different areas get different parts of the brush clean um, so that's that I will one day I keep talking about it use this today was the first day and so I wanted to make sure it did the job uh, and it did so I will be doing a little I wouldn't call it a tutorial but um, showing you how I use this to clean my brushes so most of my brushes are being dried right now so I am going to use my Alamar brush, which I lightly sprayed um, to, to kind of clean this off. I don't use it too much like I used to, but I use the Body Bodyography Pro Makeup Cleaner just to spray this particular brush. So now that I've stopped enough times, let's go ahead and get started with the eye... Um, the eye look and I showed you guys I was going to use I think I pointed to mousse before I stopped myself again so I'm going with mousse mousse for my transitional shade guys so you saw what I used in the way of this face palette uh, I am not finished I believe I am going to go in with the color for highlighter I'm not going to do that just yet though um, but I will be using this color radiant for the highlighter okay but I did want to finish up the eyes I did also purchase the same time I purchased this BH Cosmetics palette, I uh, purchased the Mascara by Physicians Formula. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with Physicians Formula, but you're probably more familiar with their um, skincare and their uh, foundations and powders and things, bronzers and and things like that face powders but this particular um, item is a um, mascara from them and I have not seen I haven't seen anybody use I am sorry I'm struggling with this uh, I haven't seen anybody use a um, mascara from them so that's what I am going to do now I'm going to go ahead and struggle with this off camera to open it. But let me just uh, read to you the claim. It says um, that it is a, well, the name of it is Lash Contortionist Mascara. Um, and it says it, it says unique spiral brush. You can't see me. Unique spiral brush, um, interlocking fiber mascara. And it has a before and after picture with which I just ripped. It says volumizing and lengthening brush grabs even the th the th ooh, I can't see it finest finest lashes for ultra looking uh, luscious. Oh, I can't see fringe. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up so I don't take too much of your time. But let me just show you. Um, the applicator, uh, I've almost got it out if I could just keep talking. Oh, and for my face, let me tell you what I used for my face. Um, I used two different skin tints. I mixed them together. 
what I did was I ended up using the um, Complexion Rescue. I don't know why I stumble over this. I use this a lot. Uh, the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Broad Spread. <laughs> I used to wear braces a long, long, long time ago. And ever since I've had braces... I, I kind of talk funny and I kind of spit when I talk sometimes. But Broad Spectrum SPF 30, and this is in the color Terra 85, 8, I'm sorry, 8.5. And I used this, but before that, I did use my re recently purchased uh, L'Oreal Paris Luminous Serum Tint. So I put that on first. I put that on first and they both have the same consistency so I use this and then this and I use this brush from um, oh I forgot Juvia's place to actually put in the complexion rescue I put both on with my hands to begin with but then the final step with my bare minerals I did end up using this brush right here. It is a round top foundation brush. So let's go ahead and show you what this, this is in the color. It says black, brown, black, brown. I did not know it said that. This is the packaging. very interesting packaging let's go ahead and pull it out I hope it's not clumping oh boy oh yeah it was between this one and an elf one but this did come out with a lot of um a lot of the stuff on it so I'm I'm having to wipe it off like this because look at the applicator it's like spiraled so I'm just making sure I don't have an accident with how much is on here wow I don't know what this is gonna do I'm scared I'm scared so let me speed this video up hopefully it doesn't do anything bad guys so now I am going to do the highlighter uh, I'm gonna go in I'm gonna first try with this brush a uh, moda brush uh, that was given to me in one of my boxy charms um, I'm sorry that was my phone uh, that was given to me in one of my boxy charms this is very light um, this these are very soft so sometimes I have to go in uh, real hard to get the highlighter out um, and if that doesn't work I can always use my fan brush okay so I am going to go into the color radiant that I showed you guys and see what I can do with that okay it seems to be going on Oh, wow. I did not. Let me plot that a little bit. <laughs> Goes on a lot more pigmented than I thought it would. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I like it. I do like it. I do have to pick my daughter up from school, so I want to be careful with how much I'm doing right now. 
but you guys can see it. I am going to use, uh, let's see if I can do this without getting it all over the place. Usually my fan brush will target right in the center of my nose for me when I'm applying highlighter to the center of my nose. Well, I definitely like the highlighter. Let me zoom in. There is some bronzer in here, and I don't think, I just don't think that I need that right now. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in and let you guys see. I am not going to use eyeliner. It is a little bit warm outside. Um, I am going to use my uh, setting spray. Maybe I'll just use a little bit of powder. Um, if you see, I went under my eye halfway. I lined my eye halfway with the same color I put on my lid. And that color uh, is called, I believe it's Fairy Tale. Yes, this color on my lid and under in my waterline here under, under my eye is called Fairy Tale. And that's what I decided to line um, half my eye with. I did not want to line my entire eyes. I am not uh, going out anywhere. I have allergies, so sometimes the uh, makeup will bother me. But um, yeah, I decided not to put a darker shade in my waterline for eyeliner. Just go halfway with this color this fairy tale color here just halfway okay and as far as the highlighter let's take a look at that again and that color I do like this palette I do like the way that the eyeshadows go on there wasn't a ton of fallout if you can see though um, there is um, a little bit of fallout with the shimmery shades but not a lot not a lot there was not a lot of fallout with this palette there was a little bit with the purple there that Friday Friday color but I do like the palette I think I'm gonna go in with some powder instead of the setting spray um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Becca Hydrating Mist Powder, um, and let me go get it. Be right back. Hey guys, I do not feel like going downstairs and getting it. I believe I took it with me, uh, when I did the, um, the art event, um, slash jewelry event. I believe I took it in a little makeup bag. So what I'm going to do is use my Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, translucent powder okay that's what I am going to use right now I'm going to use my little unicorn brush since my other brushes are actually drying they should be done drying by now though I'm kind of toning down my color <laughs> before I go out and get my daughter. Um, toning down the highlighted areas. I am illuminating a little bit because of the uh, L'Oreal Luminous Serum Tint that I had. Um, so that did make me illuminate a little bit. Um, and now I am, I don't know if you want to call it setting or not, but I am kind of setting my face with this powder here. The Matte and Poreless Fit Me Powder. So I did kind of tone down, oh, not really, but I tried to tone down 
and set my face a little bit. Um, the Becca Hydrating Mist Powder is loose. This is a pressed powder. So I'm not going to rub too hard uh, on it. I'm going to use this mirror and take a look. I'm going to use this mirror from the uh, palette, face palette. So, all right, guys, this is the look. And if you would like for me to pop on some uh, lipstick, I can do that. I could either use the Jolie Cosmetics lip color. This is matte. Or I could use this BC Beauty Concepts lipstick. Let me go ahead and use this one. I haven't used these I don't think on camera with you guys. Oh my word. I'm so sorry that happens a lot. Okay, so let's do that. This color, they don't give the color on here. I'd have to look at the package. But this is this is the color right here. Okay? And this is a BC Cosmetics lipstick. And it came in a pack. I believe it was a pack of four or five. So, this is a subtle, it looks like it would be more pigmented than it is. But this is a subtle lip here. Um, this is the look. I do like this palette, this face palette by BH Cosmetics. Again, here are the eyeshadow colors. And I love the look. I can get a lot more looks out of this palette. This is a black color. It just looked dark, dark blue to me. And this is called Connie this color right here uh, I want to use this color and the black color um, and see what I can do not to not just those colors but I'm very intrigued also this color called passion it's kind of a purpley so all in all I love this palette I'm going to be well not I wouldn't say strong love but I love the palette I'm gonna use it again there wasn't a lot of fallout. Uh, the colors were kind of creamy. So you saw how it went on with both my finger for my eyelid and the brush. I did not have to, have to wet the brush. Um, I will take some photos of this eye look. I didn't go bold. I usually don't. Uh, the boldest look I think that I've gone was a blue look I most recently did but uh, I'm not going anywhere so the only thing I don't do very often is my brows I have no reason to um, I'm so sorry guys I have no reason to um, do my brows I can comb them I'm sure I could do put some color on my brows and fill them in a little bit but I do need to get my brows uh, threaded or arched so this is the look um, let me know what you think about this palette and it comes in three sections the mirror the eyeshadows and the face colors like the highlighter and bronzer which I did not use the bronzer so that is it for you guys um, I, I'm not the physician's formula was a little clumpy not sure uh, it was between the elf elf had one that um, touted its less clumpiness or it didn't clump at all I think it was it didn't clump I chose physician formula 
Um, so I think I'm going to try the e.l.f. next, go back and get the e.l.f. But this did clump a little bit. It didn't clump going onto my eye, my eyelashes, but it clumped up when I took it out on the applicator. So I had to rub some of it off, the excess off. But that is it for now. Stay tuned for some pictures. And we will see in the next one. I believe I'm getting my last Folklore Bay box. And so I might record that today. Um, I know something came today. It was either BoxyCharm or the Folklore Bay box. Again, the Folklore, I did cancel with them. So that will... The one I do next is the last one. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for the pictures. Bye.